Hey what's good dog? so it's officially the start of fall break and what better way to start fall break by making a video of me reacting to a jubilee video I've never done this before so let's not waste any more time let's just jump right into it let's go so this video is called black conservatives versus white liberals this video was recommended to me by my podcast partner Owen I thought this would be like an older video or something, but no, it was uploaded three weeks ago. So we're here to be enlightened and see what black people think about white people feeling bad for them. Stuff like that. Anyway, let's actually jump into it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get it. White Americans have way more advantages than black Americans. Um, I think that people want to argue at the end of the day over whether it's because you're white or not. I think that the answer is because you're white in the past, and that's how it kind of carries over to today. Hold on a minute, that's Destiny, the streamer, jit trippin', that's crazy for real. This dude does not have a Biden hat on, jit trippin' for real. And a One Piece shirt, that's crazy. The funny thing is, is that agreeing with all these things is when I did my research when I was younger, which arrived me to my standpoint of being a conservative because I believed it was racist, Democrat, liberal ideologies and policies dating all the way back to the 1800s, all the way up to the 1960s, and then you, the purported big switch. But I think it was more so when Democrats decided to be a bit more cloak and dagger about their true opinions of black people and be more uh, secretive and more, oh, we want to help you by you know, doing these things and seeing them as doing inferior. Doing uh, affirmative action, welfare, all sorts so of things wait, that welfare. eventually so, ruin our culture and welfare. places where we are now. So but, giving, but, but I want to I I get back to the history of it because we're talking about... Well, I just want to make sure we're clear. Giving them money hurt them, right? Is that what you're a, saying? Well, yes, giving them because if your father's out of the home, that's when we give you the money. You see, this isn't really a topic that I hear a lot of people talk about very often. And this is kind of something I touched on on my uh, Proud Family video that got 18,000 views. Why are we giving free stuff to black people that don't really deserve it? Because we're promoting people to be lazy and, you know, allowing them to have all this free stuff without working for it. And it damages our productive little society thing we got going on here. Because now we have people that aren't working. And then there's affirmative action. That poopy was banned recently. I don't really know everything about it, but yeah. Allowing black people to get free money so that they can pursue college. Jit tripping for real. And I, it's not just black people, of course, but still, mostly black people. If you're going to fix the poverty crisis in the U.S., this is not the way to do it. We need to promote more work for people, okay? So yes, giving black people free money and uh, affirmative action and welfare, that is damaging them, okay? Because it's making them more lazy. If you're living yeah, in this so, housing, so then give them the money while the dad's in rent free. Well, then give them the money while the, well, the, 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 the dad's in if the you, home. If you're, if you're working so this amount of hours the, and getting less than this amount of you're dollars, throwing, you're getting money you're from the government. You're throwing the baby. Yes, it is you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I don't even know what that means in this scenario because yes, you, you're okay, throwing. Okay, you want to talk about throwing babies out with the bathwater? Margaret Sanger wanted to exterminate the black race because she thought they were weeds. So yeah, we can literally talk about throwing the baby out with the bathwater. That's what Margaret Sanger. That's what Democrat policies wanted to do. He's like a black Ben Shapiro. He's talking so fast, I'm not even following anymore. So, giving money to a group of people does not hurt them. I mean, it sure, can't. you're talking about a lottery, it you just, hey, take can't. money. But yes. there, are, there are strings take attached money. to that money. Take all the there money. There are strings attached to that Give them millions. Money. Make them all oh, millionaires. No. I don't care. Okay, these um, stupid white liberals, they do not know what they're talking about. They don't understand the consequences of giving free money to people. There, I guess so. No why would happen. you not advocate for that? So, in your... I guess. <laughs> why would you not advocate for that? That's a good question. Because we believe in working, that's the American dream. We're not going to come to this country and give free stuff, okay? If you want free stuff, then I don't know where you would go for that, but that shouldn't be anywhere, to be honest. You're telling me as a white person that me, as a black person, that I'm licking your boot because I don't think in this box that you want me to frame my mentality in, that to me is real racism. And that's what we need to stop allowing to happen to us because black people are so quick now to not branch out and to have new ways of thinking or to go into careers like agriculture and these other career paths that black people don't typically get into. It's not because of racism stopping them from getting in there. It's because we're told for so long that you have to follow this path and you have to think a certain way. I think America is a great place for a black person. I think I'm an American. Anything that's available to you is available to me and mine. You see, we need more people saying that because it's true. If you live in the U.S., you, ha you are given the biggest opportunity in the entire world. America is all about opportunity. And uh, like I said, I'm going to say it again. It's all about working. You can get wherever you want by working hard enough and proving to the world that you have the intelligence to fit into society. 
Some people do not have the intelligence to fit into society, just like some of these liberals here, okay? How many other countries out there in the world will let you say bad stuff about their president and y you won't get arrested? If I lived in England, I would be thrown in jail in less than a week because if I moved there and became a UK citizen, I would, I would just say all kinds of foul stuff against the royalty and I would be thrown in jail. At least I'm pretty sure last time I checked, that was the rule. You can't say bad stuff about your leader. I can definitely say that it creates a lot of tension when you have affirmative action. I remember my first week in the yes. University of Illinois, I was sitting with some classmates and a white student turned to me and jokingly like, hey, Xavier, like, did you just attach a smiley face when you applied for this college? And I started asking what he meant. And he said to me that he was like, you're black. I'm assuming you had decent grades. You could have just attached a smiley face and you would have gotten into the university. So I was livid by that. And I went off. I started naming all my accomplishments and I felt so confident only for about an hour because then an hour later I started saying to myself like wow like did I actually earn my way in here I started to have this insecurity and I started mm. wondering to myself wait so he doesn't know for a fact that affirmative action may or may not have gotten him into that university jit tripping I just assumed that the government is like uh, entitled to tell you due to affirmative action laws we will let you into this college because you're a probably underprivileged black man. But no, he didn't even know because someone else pointed it out to him and then he started thinking like, oh my goodness. I had no idea the government didn't, didn't just tell you about the affirmative action benefits. Jit tripping. And too, I've seen it in the sense of like affirmative action taking away from other people who are minorities. Like I had a friend who was Asian and he in high school. They don't give it to Asians? Is it because most of them are successful anyway and they can get into college as normal because they're normally smarter? Jit tripping. It's just black people. If you live in LA, you're probably gonna see black people killing a bunch of Asian people in the streets and like gang violence and stuff, I swear. You better watch out over there. If affirmative action accomplished its purpose, why do we still see the disparities that we do in the professional workplace? Oh my if you gosh. average white wealth and compare it to black wealth totals, white people as a whole have about 50 times greater wealth than black people as a whole. Uh, per capita. So I just don't understand why you think affirmative action has accomplished its purpose. No, no, not every black person is a bloody conservative that disagrees with the affirmative action thing. You, you feel me? The black people we have sitting in this room are hard-working individuals, probably, maybe. They have a very convenient upbringing and stuff, and they know that the reason why they were born into such a successful family in the first place is because their parents worked hard so that their children could have an easier life. And so they're able to witness firsthand just because you're a bloody minority in the U.S. doesn't mean that you're going to be poor forever. As long as you work hard, you can get into the right university and you can get the best job possible. But then what the majority of these uh, minorities think is that they, they're oppressed and they're never going to be successful. And this is the ideology that keeps on being spread around and to everyone's minds, not just these minorities, but all these white people that, that have this white guilt. They're going to kiss a black person's shoes in the middle of the, 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 the street and stuff it, out of guilt. It's so disgusting. So what this Biden supporter is kind of spitting right now is, yes, facts, the statistics of all of these people that are poor, but what he he doesn't you know take time to figure out and you realize is that there's a small minority of minorities that are successful are people that did the exact same thing that white people did they they worked hard and they were they were able to get into a college because of their intelligence and stuff and they're able to achieve success equal or greater than the average white person jit tripping for real um why do you assume that just because there is a disparity means it's because of a racial issue what else would it be from I mean, no. upbringing, economic abilities, desire skills. to go, desire to. I mean, so zip code does fault, play man. a lot. If you grow up in a neighborhood that experiences a lot of trauma, you're not as likely to do as well in school, which means you're. Why did they grow up in a neighborhood that experiences a lot of trauma? I mean, lots of people do. Yes, but why a... specifically do more black people? I have a theory, a game theory, and I've never heard anyone else say this ever. Now, I, th I think I said this on my Proud Family video as well, but pretty much. We had slaves, and then we had the emancipation, 
and then there was the period where slavery was kind of legal just there were some exceptions and then finally slave was officially le illegalized in the early 1900s and then there's the period where black people they were still being discriminated against but they weren't going to be thrown in jail for the littlest reason sometimes they were but it's whatever and then there was the the the, the 1960s we finally have black people having equal rights they can vote all that stuff i mean i think they could vote before but you know what i mean when black people got their rights they, they them and their parents not very many of them really knew how to get actually good jobs okay and so they remained in their uh, poverty state and stuff and then when they started having kids those kids kind of live off of their influence and then Obama became president, and then we have all of these black people that were about to succeed, or having the ability to succeed, the want, desire to succeed. They're all like, wait a minute, black people are still oppressed? You're right, Obama. No, no wonder why I'm poor. I'm just gonna not work, and I'm gonna complain about it, and blame it on white people. Uh, moral of the story, the reason why there's still so many uh, poverty-ish black people nowadays is because they're descended from a mother and a father that were unproductive, they're descended from a mother and a father that were unproductive, and they're, then they're descended from a mother and a father that were either slaves or, uh, you know, oppressed people in unfortunate times. They're descended from probably slaves, and they're descended from probably slaves. All of that stuff, you feel me? Which, technically, it's a very small portion of black Americans that are actually descended from slaves. More than 90% of black people in the U.S. right now, they're, they're um, African immigrants throughout, like, 1900s, the 2000s, all that stuff. So if you meet someone that was descended from a, an American slave back then, then they're an ultra minority. They have the ultra historical oppression of the U.S. Jit tripping for real. Anyway. If you have a program that says you are under, if you are under a certain income level, this is how we'll help you, that will overwhelmingly help black people at a far greater percentage than it will help white people. The problem with that plan is the fact that we're all supposed to be equal in the United States, okay? We shouldn't be passing all of these bills and plans to benefit certain races because what about the, 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 the majority race, all of the white people and stuff? that are also suffering or, or have actually proven to the country that they are capable of achieving these wild dreams and becoming rich and famous and be getting into a good college, all of that stuff. Basically, what I'm saying is if, if white people can do it, black people can also do it, okay? We shouldn't be giving all of these handouts because, like I said, it just makes people more lazy. If this video gets five likes, I will upload part two uh very soon not just next week but very soon and then i'll upload a completely different video next weekend and stuff you feel me sub to the second channel follow the rumble instagram twitter x TikTok, and join the discord server follow all the social media bye bye